Good morning students. Today we are going to start the lesson The Little Girl written by Catherine Mansfield. Okay. Now the title of the story The Little Girl refers here to the main character that we are going to come across. The name of the little girl is Kezia. And the theme of the story is the relationship between children and their parents. And the writer Catherine Mansfield wants to tell us that children share a very important bond of love with their parents. You all will be able to relate very well to this story. Although when children are small and when they are young, they do not feel that their parents love them because sometimes parents are very strict and many actions of the parents seem unjustified. But as you grow children, you realize that all the acts that your parents did for you were actually for your benefit, isn't it? The parents were concerned for them and beneath the strictness lies a heart full of love for the children. And this bond of love between parents and their children has been highlighted throughout this story okay so uh, i want all of you to take out your textbook and you follow the lines as we proceed okay now here you see to the little girl he was a figure to be feared and avoided okay so the very beginning line tells us that kezia okay kezia was afraid of this figure Okay, now who is this figure here? The figure here talked about is his, is her father. So every morning before going to work, Kezia's father would visit her in her room and give her a casual kiss. And in reply, Kezia would say, goodbye father. So this action of Kezia's father shows his love for Kezia. But Kezia, however, was always afraid of his father okay now carriages like horse carts were means of conveyance used in olden times so here we can make out the fear that kezia has for her father the writer says that when kezia uh, heard that her father's carriage was gone away from home and he was leaving home and the sound became fainter and fainter that means the sound reduced kezia would have a sense of relief she would feel relieved that her father had left. Okay, now why did she feel relieved? Because she feared her father. She was afraid of him and so she was relieved when he left home. In the evenings when uh, Kezia's father would return home, she would hear his loud voice and this loud voice again made her afraid of him. Okay, so as Kezia's father returned home, he would start ordering all different things. He would order for tea, to be served in the drawing room, he would order for newspaper, he would order, ask, his, uh, ask uh, her mother to uh, get the newspaper for him, etc., and the sleeper, etc., etc. Okay? Then uh, he, uh, her mother would call Kezia and like uh, she would tell her that if you are a good girl, you can come down and take off your father's boots. And then you see the last line in this page. I, I do do don't know father. So here you can see that Kezia is talking to her father in an in a hesitant manner. Okay. Uh, Kezia replies in a hesitant manner. She was stammering. Okay. Now when do we stammer? We stammer when we are not very confident, when we are afraid of something, isn't it? When there is a feeling of fear in us. Okay. So uh, he, uh, her father is annoyed and uh, he, he tells her that if you go on stammering like this then we have to take you to a doctor okay so here you can see initially in the in the first paragraph so here fa Kezia's father is copying her and he is also stammering just like her and he says to her that if you don't uh, stop stuttering stuttering here means stammering then your mother would have to take you to a doctor for a checkup so here the writer tells us that Kezia never stammered while she spoke to some other people. It was only when she talked to her father that she lacked confidence and that is why she tried very hard to speak properly and so she stammered. When you become very conscious and when you try to speak, you become very, uh, you are afraid and you start stammering, isn't it? Uh, 
Now, Kezia's father looks at her, at her. He feels that something is wrong with her, and he asks her why she is so unhappy. And that, and then he tells the mother that she should teach Kezia to behave in a better way, and she should not appear as if she is so unha- unhappy that she is about to end her life. So he wants to say that Kezia seems to be so unhappy with her life that she did not want to live any longer. So he, you know, he talks about, you know, about to com- commit suicide. He, 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 somewhere in the middle of the text, you see, I wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide. Okay, she feels so unhappy. Uh, unhappy that as if she wants to suicide okay so he wants to say that kezia seems to be so unhappy with her life that she did not want to live any longer so he hands her his tea cup and asks her to place it back on the table so what do you think do you think that the father was you know the father was very uh, dispassionate no not at all see when your father goes out for work he has to face so many problems isn't it at his workplace he has got so much he comes back home with so much of tension sometimes he has the emotion inside him but he's not able to express it properly isn't it so uh, as children you should try to empathize with your parents you should try to understand the feelings of your parents of your father or your mother when they come back home after their work they may not be in good mood they might might have some problem in, at their workplace so even if they are sometimes very strict with you rude with you rude with you you should try to understand the feelings of your parents okay now here this is the feeling this is the vision that kezia has for her father okay he she says you see uh, next next uh, paragraph you see she says he was so big his hands and his neck especially his mouth when he yawned thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant so she is considering her father as a giant she has actually created that image of her father she is so afraid of her father that she considers him as a giant okay she, she feels that her father was so big he was just like a giant and the writer says that kezia felt that his hand and his neck his mouth everything was so huge you see he looked like a huge monster and whenever kezia thought about her father she felt that she was thinking about a giant okay and now on sunday afternoon one uh, one uh, on one sunday afternoon during uh, uh Kezia's grandmother sent her downstairs to the drawing room in order to spend some time with her parents because uh, her grandfather mother thought that she should spend more time with her parents. Okay, so Kezia was supposed to behave in a nice and decent manner in front of her parents when uh, when they had a formal get together. So here we feel that Kezia felt a bit bit neglected. You can see there in the picture that the mother is reading a book, father is taking rest. Okay. So he she felt little bit left out. Okay. So what happened? Uh, her mother was busy reading and her father was busy sleeping and snoring. So Kezia had this image of her parents in her mind. They did not talk with her and they didn't spend time with her. On the other hand, they were busy doing their own things. So she always tried to create negative image of her parents. You can see here, isn't it? So. So. All the while, Kezia's father was asleep. She would just sit on a stool and watch him carefully till the time he would wake up and stretch his body, and then would ask the time and look at her. Okay. Now, Kezia's father would compare Kezia to a little brown owl. He would say that Kezia was staring at him just like an owl does. Okay. So now Kezia was not well. She had a cold. Okay. So she was supposed to stay at home. so her grandmother suggested that as she was at home and her father's birthday was approaching she could make a birthday gift for him so she asked uh, kezia to make a pin cushion for him uh, a cushion for him and she also gave her a yellow colored fabric of silk to make the cushion 